Hey guys, it's Nate Paul from Ferocious Beer Company. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to talk about combs and brushes. What is best for you? What is best for me? Um, and how they work. I'm going to kind of show you what they do when you apply them to your beard. Now, before we go any further, if you like the content you uh, see here, please hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit that bell and you'll be in the know anytime I go live with anything here at Ferocious Beard Company. So in a nutshell, brushes provide deep penetration into your beard where combs provide lift if you're using light strokes for that beard. So let's first talk about the boar bristle brush. First and foremost, what I would recommend is you always start out with a damp beard. Now your beard may be shorter than mine, maybe longer than mine. So depending on how long it is will depend on how much water you apply. And I'm just going to use a spray bottle for this. So I'm just going to spray my beard down with just water. You can pick these any kind of spray bottle up at a dollar store if you want to, or you can get them on Amazon, you know, wherever you want to. So there's just a paper towel. I'm just kind of damping my beard down. Now the boar bristle brush, the cool thing about this is it won't tug on beard hair. Um, first of all, let me, let me do this too. Let me add a little beard oil to my beard. This is kind of a little test project I'm working on here. Um, beard oil in a squeeze tube versus a glass jar, just so I can put it down in the bathroom and I don't have to worry about taking the cap off, getting my beard oil from the dropper and then putting it back on. So here we go. I'm just gonna put some beard oil in my beard, which is already damp. And let me go to the side camera. You can see basically what it looks like. This is just beard oil. Okay, so here we go. Here's the boar bristle brush. And let me apply it to my beard. And you can see, you can control how hard you push down to the skin level without any snags. Here's the side view. And you can see I can push this down hard all the way to essentially the skin it's massaging the skin the the tips of the brush are actually penetrating through the beard hair to the skin and the cool thing about boar bristle brushes is they are great for distributing beard oil into your beard and all the way down to the skin level because what happens with beard oil ultimately is it ends up at your skin and absorbing into your skin. It has an awesome side benefit of making your beard hair soft too. But this is what happens when you use a boar bristle brush. So if I give you the front view here, you can see what happens is it really pushes the hair down. So it almost follows my neckline. You see what's happening there? Like the front of my beard is poofier, let's just say, than the side because the side is where I'm really pushing it down. And if I do that here too, you can see it almost, you can see my chin line too, because the fact that this boar bristle brush is pushing the hair down because I'm pushing hard all the way down to my neckline and my chin line. So that's what's happening. And of course, underneath my chin, the extra beard hair is just growing down because that's how it naturally grows. And so that's what's happening with with a boar bristle brush. Love the boar bristle brush. I really do enjoy it. But you can see that if you just use a boar bristle brush, if you want any uh, lift, then it really does it really doesn't help you provide lift. It it is great for massaging your beard and your skin under the beard, but it is not great for providing lift, which you might want. So that is the boar bristle brush. Let's talk next about the peach wood comb. Okay, so the peach wood comb, this is a peach wood comb. It is made of peach wood. This is available at ferociousbeard.com and has our logo on it. And the thing about this that I really like is it is super compact. You can take it anywhere. Uh, you can fit it into your pocket. Uh, it's not and it's very obviously it's not large so you can really bring it anywhere and you can see that when it goes in see if i can do this i do have some control if i'm pushing it straight this way over how far it reaches to like for example my skin but i have less control than 
I do with another kind of comb, which I'll show you after, and that is going to be the Chicago carbon fiber comb. And it's really a lot of ways it's because of the handle on this. The handle is different than say this kind of handle. So you're holding it from above and all your control is here. You're kind of like flicking it down. So that is the kind of control you get with a peach wood comb. Okay. Let me go back to this view. So with a peachwood comb, you can see that when I'm using it against my beard, it does penetrate about maybe, it feels like about halfway into the hair on my beard versus the brush, which could penetrate all the way to the bottom. But one benefit of the peachwood comb, or any comb really for that matter, is you do get that lift that the brush just doesn't provide. So you can see if I gently Go like this let me do this too here you can kind of see it does provide a little more lift you can kind of go up kind of have it stick out and then go down and let me do it on the side camera you can see i can kind of go up and then gently go down and it does provide some lift that you don't get from the boar bristle brush so that's a demonstration of the peachwood comb. The next thing I want to talk about is a handcrafted custom wood comb. So this kind of comb, this is from uh, Bell's Custom Woodworking. Uh, this was made for me and I appreciate you for sending this to me. Let me compare sizes. Uh, you can see that this particular comb has very, very thick teeth on it compared to the peachwood comb. Now, um, each of us have our own preferences about what size comb we want to use. Okay, so with this comb, the teeth are very thick, so it mostly works just on the surface of my beard. It doesn't really get down underneath to where my skin is. So as you can see, it is so thick that it is generally only penetrating the upper surface of my beard. It is not really uh, penetrating down to the skin and that is just simply because it's such thick bristles on this so like if I go like this you see what I mean like some of it gets in but it is just mostly grabbing the hair not penetrating all the way down to my skin this would also provide actually some uh, some lift for your for your beard because it's going to be only really grabbing the outer most portion of your beard because this comb has such thick teeth you might think about using one of these in order to just hit the surface level of your beard that way you can kind of fluff up your beard and give it some uh, fullness so the next thing i want to talk about is the chicago carbon fiber comb and this comes in a variety of different shapes and sizes here at ferocious i've got two sizes i've got the number seven which is kind of more of a pick style. And I've got the number eight, which is the, the traditional handle style. Now, of the two of these, myself personally, I prefer this number eight because I love the control that I get by holding it with, with the side of my hand like this and, and just dragging it down gently into my beard. I really enjoy the Chicago number eight comb. You can see that this just gently glides through my beard. And the, the trick is with these combs, is you do not want to just press really hard. You just want to have it gently go in, comb multiple times to make sure you get all your snarls out because snarls can definitely uh, hurt. And so as you can see, um, as I gently comb, it is getting fuller. As you can see, as I comb through my beard with the uh, Chicago number eight, my beard is generally getting thicker looking and that's because I am fluffing it out gently and that is what it looks like. The next thing I want to talk about is this style. This is a pick and the pick is actually good for getting underneath your beard this way. It's really good for reaching underneath and lifting up. For me personally, I find it awkward to comb this way. I just find it more awkward than holding 
this style of comb. But for underneath the beard, yes, this is fine. I can do this. But for underneath the beard, this is actually a pretty good comb for grabbing it and having more control as you're kind of going straight up. So for that reason, I do like the number seven comb. So guys, I hope that helps explain the difference between combs and brushes and what goes into your thought process for deciding what is best for you. What do you prefer? Uh, really, only you can decide that. Is it a comb? Is it a brush? Is it just your hands? What do you like the best? Let me know below in the comments. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Head over to ferociousbeard.com, get yourself a nice comb or brush, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Guys, what do you prefer to use? Um, okay, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Guys, what works best for you? Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Guys, what, all right, guys. All right, guys, what works best for you? Is it combs? Is it brushes? You tell me. Um, what is your favorite product to use? And more importantly than that is... What is your favorite? Do you prefer a comb or a brush? Or what do you use in your beard? A comb or a brush? We guys, do you like boar bristle brushes? Do you like wooden combs? Either like the smaller size or the, the custom thicker size? Do you like Chicago?